Gardner here, and today, well, over the last couple weeks, I brought you some of my pretty bad races. Uh, these three here, these are going to be not so bad. I did uh, pretty well in these races. Had a couple of adventures, and so we're going to take a look at them. This is going to be three daily races from Suzuka uh, a few weeks ago, using the uh, Group 4 cars, which means the front-wheel drives are overpowered, as usual. But, yeah, so we're going to take a look here. As you can see, I managed to get the pole in this race, which was kind of unusual. Um, normally, I'm not up front, but I had run this race quite a bit during the week, and I do really like Suzuka, so it was it was a good thing to uh, run for me. So I just ran the heck out of it and managed to get my time cut down quite a bit. So that put me up front in most of the races, uh, not on the pole necessarily, but within the top five more normally. Most of these races, when I ran these, it was just, uh, I, I was more or less just trying to maintain my spot rather than, uh, well, maintain and not do anything stupid. Because as you've seen in some of my other videos, I am prone to do stupid stuff. Just spin out for no reason, you know, other than me not being able to drive. Uh, you know, it happens. Um, but these races were a lot of fun. A little short three lap race. Pretty good competition in the lobbies I was in. Pretty clean competition in the lobbies I was in as well. I'll tell you what, this guy Brat back there, he's uh he he gave me pretty much all I wanted for this entire race. He didn't never he never was very far off. So yeah, I do get a little bit, get through these S turns a little bit better than he does. Um, he does gain quite a bit of ground on me on the straight parts. So it was a case of just trying to maintain where I was at. You know, I don't know. Uh, try not to make any mistakes. And I had run this, uh, see like right there, he just, I uh, came through there slow and I'm not exactly sure why, but he just came flying up on me. This hairpin, I can never quite seem to get right. I don't know what it is or why it is, but I can never quite find the right line to get through that hairpin. I mean, I don't come through there dead slow, but I don't know. It just it, it's weird. There's a there's a certain few turns on this game that are like that for me, though. I just can't quite seem to get them. Um, most of the turns on Catalonia are like that for me. They're, it seems like they're just odd cambers, odd angles, and I just have all kinds of trouble with that track. You probably won't see me put any up from that track, just because, I mean, I promise to show you the ugly, but, man, I tell you what, I got plenty of ugly other than that track, so <laughs> I just, I, I avoid racing that track uh, whenever possible. I, I won't race there unless I absolutely have to. It just uh, That's one of those tracks that I just can never, no matter how much I run it, how, no matter how much I practice it, I cannot get the flow of that track to save my life.
But yeah, Marath gave me a heck of a race here through the whole thing. I mean, right from the word go, he was he was on my tail and letting me know it. I mean, you can see right there how close he is and how close he's been getting. The guy back there in the Audi, he hasn't been too far off. See, this kind of race is uh, actually quite a bit of fun, though. That guy, uh, Brat, back there in second place, he had every opportunity. There, there was four or five spots where he could have just punted me off, you know, because he was close enough. Um, hell, I've seen lunges from way further back than what he was. But, uh, yeah, I mean, he's a uh, very clean guy. I give him credit for that. See right there, I overkick, overcut going into spoon just a little bit. Oh, I thought he was. I thought right there, he kind of, he kind of freaked me out. I thought he was going to lunge right there, but he backed out of it, and that was uh, pretty fortunate for me. Um, I'm glad he did. I probably wouldn't have been too mad at him if he had done that lunge, just because I, I, I feel like I, in some places I was kind of holding him up. Um, but yeah, so I got the win on that one, and we are going to check out another race here right shortly, so I will be right back. Alright, so we're back with this one, and in this race, keep an eye on that guy in second place. He's, uh, he's an interesting fella. Um... Before we really get going here, though, I want to uh, take a minute to thank my sponsor for this week, for this week, for today's video. Sorry, uh, Boogabox.com. He is a, a handcrafted chainmail creations website and Facebook page. My buddy Rick makes some really, really cool stuff. Um, he was just featured on the news in Kansas City for having made a full-size jersey of Patrick Mahomes um, out of chainmail or well out of the rings for chain mail and it's really really cool it took them 40,000 rings uh, just a really cool item but yeah so he makes all kinds of stuff wall hangings clocks he does a uh, laser etching on acrylic so yeah go check that out uh, boog that's the uh, the boogabox.com um, and he's on Facebook at the boogabox and I will leave both links in the description and today's music is as always brought to you by Enox uh, I really appreciate Roy giving me permission to use the music. Uh, they have a brand new single out, guys, called Fade. And let me tell you something, it is a really, really good song. So by all means, please go check those guys out on YouTube, Spotify, Instagram, Facebook. They're all over the place. So yeah, go check those guys out. Give them some love. Uh, that new single is badass. So yeah, uh, and now we'll get back into the race here. So this guy E-Racer here at the back and behind me. He's an interesting cat. He's a guy that uh, he'll do some really, really dirty stuff. And if you happen to do something back, he gets all butt hurt and starts whining about it. I had him contact me about one of the guys in our in uh, on my team. Um, and yeah, it's he had done a bunch of stuff before that, and then got mad when somebody did something to him. So he's just one of those guys. Uh, whines, cries, whatever. But in this particular race, um, he actually wound up helping me out quite a bit, uh, even though he said I was dirty. Um, I don't really know. I, I don't believe I was. Um, but I'll, I'll let you guys judge. If you think I was, hey, leave it in the comments, man. If you think I did something bad, um, I'll show you the spot where we're talking about, and I'll let you guys be the judge. So I'm going to switch to his view. Because I believe, I believe this is a spot where, where he claimed that I played dirty. 
Now right there he turned down on me just a little bit. That's fine. But there's where he got mad at me for doing it and decided to just shove me off the track. So I'm over here running cross country. I was absolutely stunned that I didn't get reset, that I didn't get a big, a big penalty. Uh, I was just shocked. But what he did, by pushing me off like that, I just kept my foot in it and went forward. Uh, he decided to try and get back on track, so now he's fighting with those two guys back there. And I, I just ran away. I just ran away with it. So, you know, uh, at this point, I gotta, <laughs> I gotta tell him thank you because he gave me a big old push through that. You know, I cut half the dang uh, S turns off just because he pushed me across the grass. Um, but yeah, that was the move that he called me dirty for. Uh, said I pushed him out way far, and that he, and then he just retaliated. Well, like I said, I couldn't quite figure out what the retaliation was for, but I'll take it. He helped me out. So yeah, as you can see, I put quite a gap on him. Um, he was right up with me all the way up to that first turn. So, well, second turn, technically, I guess. Um, when he decided to push me off. So, I don't know. Uh, like I said, guys, if you think I did something wrong on that going into that turn, I mean, by all means, let me know. Um, I don't really think I did. But... If you think otherwise, I'm, uh, I'll listen to it. So yeah, like I said before, this was just a, it was a fun race to run. Um, even when stuff like that didn't happen, you know, it was a lot of fun. Um, for the most part, it was pretty clean for, for the week. I think starting where I was starting, you know, up top five or so, uh, that was, that helped out quite a bit. But, uh, yeah, even so, it, it, it was fun. It was a lot of fun to run this race. And that'll happen every once in a while. The last couple of weeks, I haven't had any real um, real desire to play the game. That's kind of why I'm bringing you some of my older replays. Is because I just didn't feel like... I didn't feel like playing the game. The races didn't really hold any appeal for me. And there's no FIAs or anything going on. So, I just haven't really played it. Um, I've been messing around with ACC. Uh, sorry for those of you who don't know. That's uh, Assetto Corsa Competition. Um... I will have a couple of videos from that uh, coming up here uh, soon. But yeah, I mean, I just didn't have any real desire to play Gran Turismo because it didn't. There was nothing. There, none of the races had any uh, any real appeal for me. Um, they weren't my weren't my kind of track. Um, you know, Kyoto, Mia, uh, Yamagiwa. It's a good track. Um, I'm just not real fast at it. I don't mind racing it, but getting into the lobbies that I was in, it was just, no, nah, there was no point in me being there, man. I was just finishing way in the back of the pack, just bleeding points. Um, wound up getting reset from 32,000 down to 15,000 because of it. And I was just like, you know what, I'm done. I'm not running that one no more. And I decided not to take chances with my other accounts because, it, again, it would have been pointless. So, yeah, anyway... As you can see, I win this race, so I am now we're going to move on to the third one because something really kind of funny happens in that one. Uh, stick around, guys. Alright, and we're back with this third race. I, I want to show you this one because, uh, yeah, something something kind of funny happens. Uh, on the last lap, it, it gets uh, real interesting. Um, hey, I do want to remind you guys that uh, not only do I have my channel... Uh, but we also have an Attack Motorsports International Sim Racing Team YouTube channel. It's uh, under Attack Motorsport ISRT. I will leave the link in the um, in the description of this video and my upcoming videos. And if you guys want something a little different, not just one guy sitting around talking to himself like I'm doing here, um, 
we do what's called a replay roundtable for our team channel. And what it is, is just a bunch of us guys uh, get together for, you know, four or five of us in a, in a party chat, and we watch the replays, and we review the replays that people have submitted to us, and we talk about them. If somebody has a really bad race, um, we talk about that. If somebody has a really good race, we talk about that. If somebody's a complete idiot and runs a dirty race, and, you know, we're going to call them out, uh, you know. Uh, it, it's just, it's really good fun. It's uh, pretty entertaining to listen to. Um, we don't have a ton of subscribers right now, but you know, it, it's it, we're, we're growing steadily. People are uh, people are checking out our stuff and seeing that uh, seeing that we do something just a little bit different than everybody else out there. So yeah, by all means, go check it out. Um, if you're watching this video for the first time, uh, if, or on my channel for the first time. Uh, please, you know, consider subscribing. But if you don't want to subscribe, at least leave us a li leave me a like, uh, leave a comment. You know, that stuff helps out in the alg algorithm too. Um, so yeah, um, I appreciate you taking the time to watch the video. And so now we're going to get back to the race here. These two guys up front, um, I, I pretty much established within the first lap and a half. I'm not really going to be able to catch them. These guys are just fast. Um, I do gain some here and there, but for the most part, they stay out ahead of me pretty well um I almost got by that guy but yeah that didn't work um which I'm okay that's fine you know I'm on the podium and at this point I'll take that uh just got to try and not to lose uh third place the, the guy up in front man I don't know I understand trying to break the toe, but you drive side to side that much and you're just costing yourself time. It doesn't help. It keeps the guy from getting the toe, uh, getting the slipstream behind you, but I don't know how much good that would do. Um, considering the fact you're going sideways and losing that entire amount of time there. I don't know. Well, some people do it and that's their choice, I guess. But yeah, as you can see, I'm a little bit quicker in some sections, um, fall behind in others, and that's fine. That's that's pretty normal. Um, so basically, what I'm doing is, you know, I understand. I understand. I'd have to really, really, really push to get by one of these guys. Uh, that guy in first, in particular, I'd have to really push to get by him. And I don't want to do that because when I start pushing really hard, I start making mistakes. So I'm just going to run my race. I got a pretty good gap on the guy behind me in fourth place there. So I'm just going to run my race, take my podium, be a happy camper, you know. Just kind of go with the flow, man. It took me a really long time to figure out how to take the chicane. I still probably don't take it exactly right, but I take it a whole lot better than I used to. <laughs> it took me a long, long time to get to the point where I could get around, get to, get through that chicane and abuse the limits like you're able to and not wipe out. Because uh, it used to be I'd come off there and I'd spin out every time. So this guy in second, he gained quite a bit on that first place car, uh, our dates, and Lyncher. Um, Lyncher, I've had some runs with him. He's not a bad, not a bad racer. Um, sometimes a little squirrely, but I don't know. He, he's all right. But coming up here through with Dagnus, he gets a heck of a run coming up here um, out of the... <laughs> well, we're just going to go take a look at his car. Uh, from his end car, and you'll see what I'm talking about here real quick. Uh, coming up for Digna too, he's back a ways, but <laughs> he just took exception to whatever that guy in first place did, and so 
I'm back there in third place. I see that, and I'm like, well, thank you very much, guys. I got enough gap on the guy in fourth. I'm going to, uh, you know, as long as I don't screw up, I'm going to win this race. I don't know what they were doing. Um, I never saw any contact between them, and so I don't know what Lyncher was going after him for, unless it was from a previous race. But, yeah, that was, <laughs> you know, he just kind of handed it to me, so I'm like, thank you, and I'll see you later. I am never, ever going to complain getting handed a win when somebody else decides to take somebody out. I did have a half second penalty that I had to serve there, which kind of irritated me. I got that in the first day, and I was like, oh, come on. But fortunately, it didn't hurt me too bad. So, yeah, guys. I appreciate you all taking the time. Uh, please hit that like button. Uh, thank you for spending time with me here today. And until next time, everybody, this is Nightmare. Peace. Yeah! Oh!